How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger of a Dawn Trail video. Today, we've got part one of the sightseeing log, Tula Yolo. So that's Vistas 1 through 5, including the jumping puzzle for this expansion, which is, well, it's not easy by any stretch, but it's not nearly as bad as the Kugane Tower. If I can do it, you absolutely can too. I believe in you. So first off, you need to complete the MSQ all the way up through the Rite of Succession quest. So the first five quests that you'll get once you start Dawn Trail. Once you turn that in, you can head over to Elsaby Ironheart in Tuliolo at 13.9 by 10.1. It's up some stairs. Talk to her, turn in her quest, and you'll unlock the sightseeing log for Dawn Trail. I'll leave timestamps down below in the description so you can hop around if you want, and time to start hunting. Our first target, the Bayside Bevy at 12.1 by 14.0. This is on the western side of the Zabaliev Thai front porch. Go ahead and use Lookout and you'll get this one unlocked. Our second target, the Resplendent Quarter at 7.9 by 10.7. From the Resplendent Quarter Aether Shard, walk west to the Overlook. Go ahead and use Lookout and you'll get this one unlocked. Our third target, High Tide Harbor at 14.7 by 15.1. It's at the end of the Southwestern Pier. Go ahead and use Lookout and you'll get this one unlocked. Our fourth target, the Forward Cabins at 10.2 by 22.0 is at the end of the boardwalk on the other side of a little garden area. It's a bit of a hike from the Aether Shard, so feel free to use Sprint on this one. Go ahead and use Lookout and you'll get this one unlocked. Our fifth target, and by far the most difficult for this entire expansion, Hunuili at 18.4 by 3.1. It's on top of the Hunuili Tower, and you need to complete a jumping puzzle to get to this one. The entire puzzle takes place on the eastern side of the tower, so head around to the back when you get there. The jumps are pretty straightforward. There isn't really a wrong path you can take as long as you're going upwards. I think the biggest tip I can give you is to try to position yourself so you're pointing towards the tower when you jump. That way, if you do miss, you'll more than likely hit some kind of geometry on the tower and stop yourself from falling all the way to the bottom. Keep trying. You'll get to the top. Just be patient. Once you're all the way up, it's the same as all the other vistas for this expansion. Just use Lookout and you'll get it unlocked. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.